Now, almost no one writes letters anymore. However, before um, I left Alexandria, Louisiana to come and attend this convention, I received the most beautiful handwritten letter from our mutual friend, Lou Shu, who couldn't be here tonight. And the handwritten part and the, the beauty of his letter inspired me to write a letter to Pat on the evening of her installation as president of the American Rose Society. Dear Pat, it was over 20 years ago that I had the pleasure and good fortune to meet you. My admiration for you has grown as I watched you take on the incredible challenges and succeed at the highest level. After all, you created the still successful Manhattan Rose Society, and you created that out of the available brick and glass and concrete in New York City, and that is an amazing feat. That was the beginning. You immediately became involved in leadership at every level of the society. You brought energy, enthusiasm, creativity, know-how, and great business sense to every challenge that you accepted. Your initiatives have been significant. You are the rare individual who possesses these leadership qualities in abundance. But there's more. You are engaging, encouraging, tireless, resourceful, courageous, and very smart. Most of all, you love roses and the society that perpetuates the plants and protects them and perpetuates them for all of us. The society needs you now, and you, once again, have accepted the challenge. You have worked hard for the honor of serving the society. It's a great honor to serve, it truly is. And you have definitely earned that honor. I wanted to say these things to you today on this special day. As I participate in the ceremony of your installation, and tonight I join your many friends here with us tonight in wishing you well as president of the American Rose Society. With love, Mel. wondering who was going to go first and second, so we did upstage one another. So, um, it's hard to upstage Maryland, so I won't worry about that. There are many things that can be said about Pat Shanley, and fortunately, most of them are good. <laughs> the few things I would like to mention tonight, first of all, are her work for the American Rose Society. She's particularly, since I inherited her, so to speak, from my brother Steve Jones. She spent two terms as membership marketing chairman and one term as marketing chairman. Is that correct? And after nine years of work, our membership roles have leveled off. It took her nine hard years, but at least we're on an evil keel, even keel at this point. She's also, I think, very deserving of our praise for her efforts on the great Rosarians of the world East. She has put a lot of effort into that to recognize people in the entire Rose world that have contributed so much. And as a symbol of that, or at least a recognition tonight, I would like those of you in the audience who have received the Great Rosarian of the World Award, either individually or for the firm for which you worked, to stand and be recognized. Michael, Michael, will you stand up here?
And of course, I should have heard of Marilyn over there to stand with the yes. boys, but she was also a recipient of the great Rosarians in the world. However, I think that Pat's greatest legacy is in the area of sustainability. Now, as you know, sustainability is a very big buzzword now. In the rose world, it essentially means growing roses well, healthy, without the use of not pesticides, but fungicides. And in this regard, she worked on, edited the book, The Sustainable Rose Garden, which I believe won an award at the World Federation of Rose Societies. As was mentioned by Steve, she is also a founder and the current chair of the American Garden Rose Selections. However, I discovered one thing about her in terms of sustainability, and that is she is a advisor to Will Rattler with regard to sustainability. And I found this out because I gained access to the private server in her house. <laughs> <laughs> and the latest conversation was something like this. It was, Hello? Hello, Will? Yes, yes, Pat. Uh, that chartreuse, chartreuse knockout you gave me last year, yeah. Uh, I've had it now, and there's a little bit of black spot on two of the lower leaflets. No, not the leaves, just the leaflets. So what I would like you to do is get to work on that so that in about two years, when you come out with double secret chartreuse knockout, <laughs> it will be clean. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. I'll get right on that. <laughs> when I first met Pat uh, 15 or 20 years ago, I forget exactly when it was, I, immediately she reminded me of, of another member from New York. Louise Coleman. Um, it wasn't just her stature, it was, uh, it was her energy and her enthusiasm. And it wasn't just her New York accent, um, but um, Louise always seemed to me to be kind of the matriarch of the group here in, in, uh, in New York. Um, those of you who were members back in the 80s, like Baxter, and, and many others here I know, may recall that we used to refer to, to Howard Walters and Sid, and those folks down in Texas as the Texas Mafia. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that or not, oh, yeah. but we did. And so now the reins are being passed from the matriarch Louise Coleman to, to Pat Shanley as the matriarch of the New York Mafia. <laughs> so Pat, would you uh, please come forward? After me, I, Patricia Shanley. I, Patricia Shanley. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To uphold and abide by the Constitution. To uphold and abide by the Constitution. And bylaws of the American Rose Society. And bylaws of the American Rose Society. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully perform the duties. Faithfully perform the duties and responsibilities of the office of president. And responsibilities of the office of president. So help me God. So help me God. You have your we have. Right. By, By and with the authority vested in us 
by the members of the American Rose Society, we hereby install Patricia Shanley of Glen Cove, New York, into the office of the President of the American Rose Society and best to you the authority and responsibilities of the office. On behalf of the members of the American Rose Society, Platt, it is my pleasure to present to all our friends here, you, the president of the American Rose Society, duly elected in accordance with the um, ARS bylaws. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the president of the American Rose Society, Pat Chandler. 